This week we're in Johannesburg for the 2022 Stain City Championship. And the players are playing the magnificent Jack Nicklaus design golf course. A brand new tournament co-sanctioned by the Sunshine Tour and the DP World Tour. It's day one. And it's the eighth of 44 tournaments. Brand new tournament, Stain City Championship in Johannesburg. 335 points available. Victor Hovland currently leads the DP World Tour rankings. Richard. Now the young South African, his second shot on the way to the 10th. Par five this one. And there's been 12 eagles so far. And that might well be eagle number 13. This is local lad Mwanda with a birdie putt at 18. Yes, nicely done. Round in 70. Makes tomorrow a little easier to make the cut. He's a prime candidate for this week. Flag did him a favour. There was a bit of pace on it, but he really tied to some breaks. It was a very well played shot too. Let's not get that one. And Ross Fisher's in the front of the bunker, so he's got to get this ball up very quickly. I'm not sure he can reach the green from here. He's got over 170. Oh no, he's played a wonderful shot. And it's gonna get better and better and better. It's caught the slope. Look at that, you're Look right there, this. Dale. Take that all day long. It's far better to be lucky than it is to be good, isn't it? Yes. Here, aiming well left, trying to cut this one in. Quite a tight little green under the hill at 16, the power five. Oh, how about that? Golf shot. Yeah. That must have looked so close from that distance. Sean Norris coming to the end of his first round. Sean Norris, very good player. He's played on a lot of tours. Sean Norris. There he has. And you can see why. <laughs> a snake. Yes, he. How good is that? One nine times around the world. This man's got a future. This to take a bigger lead. This for a birdie here at the seventh. Down the slopes, pretty quick. Yes. And he's made it. There you go. <laughs> he really is having a great day, isn't he? Five under for this nine. He's out in six under. Cut a four under, but it'll be lower than that. Early attempt for Richie at the fifth. Get in. Need it. No, he's back to. Well, not back to. He's to one under par now. Now the fifth is the par three, 217 yards. Sullivan. Up there with no more than six on, I wouldn't have thought here. Oof, that, he's playing nicely today, isn't he, Sullivan? Becker. Go on, down you go. Oh, that's unlucky. Face wide open for Burmester. It is fast down here, I'll tell you what I said. Good luck to you with that. And he has hold it. That's as good a bunker shot as you're going to see the whole week. Beautifully played, lovely flex in the knee, so it could come a little shallower than normal. Now Norris to break away from Dupree. This to move to 17 under. Par 5, 16, it's not far off, he's got it, he's on the move. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic. Thank you, Dazzy. Well, did we think this would happen at the start of the day when no. we saw James Hart de Brees? We thought, would, would anyone catch him?
a little bit further back for Soderberg than he would have wanted. Can he cut it in off that slope? Doesn't need to, just go straight at it. Super duper. Go ahead to Nico Corhonen. Verdi attempt at far three fifth. Oh, only right in the middle. Beautiful putt from Corhonen. Leaps him up into a tie for fourth at 14 under now. It's his third birdie of the day, three under through five. Great start. That's grabbing a shot and a half on yeah. the field, isn't it? JB Hansen. Par four second. Quite a, a big target, but you've still got to hit the shot, and he has. That is a, a gem. Chip and club again. Just a little bit of left to right on this. Get in, get in. That's the way to recover. I've got to say, his, his chipping yesterday did not look convincing. And that previous chip he's just hit. And if you've got any spin chipping into Kikuyu, it's hit and miss. Stop. I'll be right. <coughs> it is absolutely right. <laughs> Delightful wedge shot. Five pars to finish to come home in 35. 32 on the front line. Running up to round of 67 for Sean Norris. And tomorrow is a big day for him. He'll take a four shot lead into the final round of the Stain City Championship. Front, but this one you'd expect close. That's the way to get your round off. Beautiful second shot. And his job early doors is to make some birdies and put some pressure on the leader. The perfect start. Yeah. Yeah, Tim's right. Needs to put the pressure on. 116 yards to the flag, so looking to fly this about 118, 119, just left of the pin. Go on. Sean and his brother talking Afrikaans to each other. Oh, that is a massive surprise. I don't know whether he hit that fat or whether he just underhit it. Didn't look like a fat shot. No. Big, big error there. My goodness. Wow, he was impressive. Right. Looks like it's going to be a little of the same today. What a great recovery. Sebastian Soderberg. Time to get into joint second place with Burmester. One's a quality player, so uh, I think he'll bounce back from this uh, and hopefully uh, keep on contention for the trophy. Well, hold the poor wedge shot, he would admit that himself. So, two over through the first four, not the start he was looking for. And the four shot overnight lead is now down to two. Because it's not closely known, you can't, and it stops him from putting, so. Not good news for Sean. Left to right eagle part here for Dean. After two fabulous shots, it's tracking. Go, go, man. You've got to hit the ball, Ben. Hey? That would never have missed if he'd hit it. He's turning straight into the cup there for an eagle. It's a very simple birdie yeah. for Burmester. And Dean is going to give it a go. Good. Uh, good. Uh, 
A bunker between him and the hole, so he's going to open up the club face and try and play a flop shot. It's the sort of thing, if you don't get it quite right, you can end up in the trap. How brave is he feeling at this one? Got to cut it fine to the trap. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Sean Norris's heart has just fallen through his shoes. And that's the sort of thing that wins golf tournaments. No question, that was incredible. I didn't think I didn't think those things happened in real life. No, and that I mean that was you know pitched in the hole, so it was going a long way by. He gave himself some breathing space. Breathing space, he's got two ahead now. He's got to the score that Sean Norris started on at the start of the day, 23 under. Sean Norris a couple over today. And what a good decision. He's destined for the top 50 in the world for the first time very soon. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Had a little chat with him on the phone this morning, and you know he's, you know he says he knows that he's too hard on himself, but he is working hard on it. He says it's the Zimbabwean yeah, well trait. But you know, you Zimbabweans stick together. You know, I mean, he's not from Zimbabwe. He lives in Bloemfontein. No, we're claiming him, especially when Nick he's playing Price. like this. <laughs> it certainly is. He's a wonderful putter, and he's held nothing so far. This is a gentle right to left breaker, and I expect him to hold it. It's about time he did. Tim oh. Bartis, spot on there with that one. Wow. Finally, his first birdie of the day. And stays within two of uh, Dean Burmester. That was a huge pattern. Well done to Tim Barter for calling it. Well, if ever there was a tee shot deserving of a birdie, this is it. It was fantastic. Beautifully done. Very, very well positively well held there by Sean Norris. Awesome. And he gets back huh? within one. And really, got to say, it's a two-horse race. I think he pretty much is now, yeah. Oh. Try it, nothing wrong with the putt. Just hit it a little too far right. Oh, chance now. Surely Norris will knock his one in, and they'll go to the 17th, both at 24 under par. Five shots ahead of third. So this to be joint leader. And in she goes, both players at the top of the leaderboard on 24 under. Got to move on, Dean. Got to move on. Forget it. There's, I mean, any time you three putt, it hurts, but to lose your lead, it hurts a little more. But you've just got to put your head down. And remember, you're still leading. Atta Good boy. stroke. <laughs> Full credit. He's four under par this night. He was, I don't mind you saying, Sean, horrendous on the front nine. And 38. Good man. Four under for this nine. One ahead, at least. No, and that's a double bogey. So far ahead of third. 19 under Oliver Becker in the clubhouse. 22 under par, three shot swing in one hole. And in the space of 10 minutes, Sean Norris takes a three shot lead down the final hole. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, you just, you can't predict that. No problem, well done. Sean Norris wins the 2022 Staying City Championship. He had to work very hard for that one. What a difference of two nines. Look at that. Fantastic work there. And the brother Kyle there. First person to congratulate him is Dean Bernester's caddy.
Excellent stuff. First prize of 230,000 euros to go with that as well. It's going to be good seeing you guys. Confirmation of Sean Norris' win here at the Stain City Championship. By three shots over Dean Burmester. Sean, many, many congratulations. Your first DP Tour win has come on home soil in dramatic style. Just try and describe your emotions for me. I don't think words can describe how I feel right now. I mean, it's been a tough journey. But having my brother on the back, my wife here, my little girl. Ah, splendid. Can't, can't explain. I'll try and ask a long question so you can re-establish your equilibrium. The start of the day didn't go your way. You were four shots ahead and suddenly after seven holes, you're one shot behind. And it seemed to me, yes, you'd hit one or two poor shots, but things hadn't gone your way either. What were you thinking at that stage? I wasn't thinking. But, um, you know, overall, you've got to think about it. The start of the week, uh, Thursday, Friday, bogey-free. Saturday, one bogey. It had to come eventually. I mean, you unfortunately, that's golf. You're going to give eventually. But uh, we stayed patient. We kept our heads uh, together. And eventually, it started fall, falling, up, fall, falling to place. What was the key moment? Obviously, the birdie at 14, the par 3, a daunting one there. Tell me about that. Yeah, I'd, yeah, that's not the my that pin is not my favourite pin, but you know what? We took it on. Uh, my brother actually looked at me. He said to me, "Listen, here, look, look over there. Your wife and your daughters." Yeah. So I said to him, "Now, now, this is time. Let's put foot down. Let's go for it. Hey, you know, let it happen." So watch another DP World Tour video. Click here, and to subscribe, click here.